so hot. Milf is what you are. Not right now. Not right now. There's so much pain. You're all right. <laughs> Do you want to explain to them what's I mean, I'm pretty sure you should explain because I was asleep. So basically for the past how many hours? I don't even know. Well, you've been having on and off contractions for 24 hours. Yeah, and then since like 3 this morning they've become really regular. And I tried to leave it as long as I can but then it got too painful. Of some sort of time scale it's 6.40. Say three till what? No, it's been about four hours of regular contractions. Pain. Every time, also, every time I tried to go to sleep, it was like I'd wake up and like well, I'd only have like ten minutes of sleep and I wake up because I'm in so much pain. Now I try and get back to sleep, but it just wouldn't work. Poor like, girl. So painful. Um. So upset if they send me home. Are you going to do a room tour? A room tour? Why are you thinking about how to construct a video when you're dying? Room tour. Here's our, our chairs. Here's a pregnant uh, bed. Hot tub with, with lights. A tap bin. Things. A baby face. Floor, ceiling, and a toilet with Abby's Wee. Just there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that fat tum. Oh. Student <laughs> chance for the baby. Your face looks so sad. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Oh. Do a dance it. <laughs> now I'm going to be high and coding. Gee, Abby, you can't say that in a YouTube video. This is going to get demonetized now. What's happening, Abby? Just tired. Oh. Well, we might have to go home. Yeah. <laughs> so because Abby's contractions are still sporadic, is that the word? Sporodic? Spir sporodic? Sure. Sporadic. Because they're still uh, not consistent, we might have to go home and wait until they're three minutes apart every time because they're varying between three and like six and a half minutes. Yeah. Which is just uh annoying. This is this is early labour, Abby. Oh my god, poor girl. I know, I'm in so much pain. Plus I haven't slept in two days, which makes it so much worse. Oh, you just turned into a blur. Oh my camera's broken. Oh well. I'm just scared I'm gonna go not if you're not. She's nine, so she can just quickly pop it out. Does the bathroom for help? Yeah, it's over there. It's just so uncomfortable. No! Just uh, come over and stop bouncing. I think that's pretty sure what you're supposed to do. Is it? They'll move around in circles and forwards and backwards to see what is better. <laughs> Maybe it's never going to happen. This is how I feel like it's just never ever going to happen and I'm just going to be in this much pain forever. I mean, you probably are only one centimetre dilated. Mm. Look at the face! <laughs> So I'm pretty sure we're going to be sent home. I think Abby's not even dilated at all. 
I think uh, she just can't handle pain that well. Do you agree, Abs? Oh my god, why are you agreeing to that? We're definitely going home. And I can play back on my Xbox for a bit, chill, you know, have I a curry. Do not tell anyone. No, I should have no, not told anyone. That Imagine if just, it took another two days and I just had to break it to everyone that Abby was just joking. I wasn't joking though. No, right, do you know what's funny, right? So her contractions were like three minutes apart, and then she went for a poo, and they went to like five minutes no. apart. They did, they slowed down after she did a poo. They did. <laughs> they actually did. And last time we had a uh, like Higgs boson contractions, whatever they're called. Boson, the Higgs. Drugs one. Abby nil. No. <laughs> she, she just took one codeine tablet and died. Poor girl. I feel better. So Mom. It's either codeine or. Let's see what happens when it wears off. Right, so the time isn't 11 o'clock like it says on the clock. It is. One thirty. We've been in hospital for six hours. Ages. And Abby's now decided that she's not in pain anymore. I'm fucking happy. So Abby's not in pain anymore. Her contractions are now over 10 minutes apart again. Um, Wow, wow, Abby. <laughs> Alright, so my mum just packed up before Abby, Abby has a inspection because we know the inevitable. Uh, we're going home, I think, boys. <sighs> In new time, this would have been maybe two seconds since you last saw us, but for us, it's been about an hour and a half. Abby had a sweep, you know, people do their, their thing. Um, and you're three centimetres dilated. Yeah. So she's staying, she's staying here. Which means I'm staying here for another day. Then I could go home, and then they said I'd have to come back later. So I'm recording Abby's. Um, oh fucking hell! Nice bit of out. Focus their camera, plus that. So I'm recording uh, Abby's contractions here. Uh, all the odd numbers are contractions, all the even numbers are the intervals. Just so you guys can see. Oh. What our contractions are doing at the moment. Is your one finished now? Start again. This entire video is you sitting on a ball, going, mm hmm. I've just noticed that. I hope people enjoy watching this. Hopefully at the end of this video there's a baby. I'm so proud of yourself. You'd be so proud after Dabs, thinking back at what you've done. <laughs> oh! You are alright? Pain. Do you want to tell me all your problems really quick? Just in so much pain. My hips and everything just really hurts. <laughs> oh. Oh. I love you. I love you. Have you ever oh. been proud of a I've ne I'm never in my life. I don't think Michael's ever been proud. I don't think I've ever been proud of anything other than the pug when oh. she first pooed outside. <laughs> so at this point uh, we went into what is classed as proper labour. <laughs> I don't think it's actually classed as proper labour, but you know what I mean. End labour, the bit that people go, oh, we're in labour for four hours or eight hours, etc, etc. This bit was some of the most traumatising things I've ever seen, and I'm guessing the most traumatising thing Appy has ever experienced, because me seeing her in that much pain and not being able to do anything about it literally made me cry. Um, it wasn't nice, but yeah, it, it, I wasn't really in the... Uh, in the right frame of mind to just whip out a camera and uh, record and joke around. Um, we were very preoccupied. So, uh, sorry about that. I do actually have some little bits of footage from Abby contracting and what have you in a near giving birth stage. I'm going to put them on my Instagram at MikeFox underscore official. Be on the screen now. 
Uh, but yeah, meet, um, meet my baby boy. For him, so Oh my god, look at him. So you oh did amazing. Hi. Not many people would have managed Isn't to do that. Oh, he's oh, he's so Eight hours of labour, but you had three hours of active pushing as soon as we saw his head. And it hurt so much. How much did he weigh? Eight pound four. Eight pound four. Look at this fatty. He's so fat. He's so fat. And just to think that, what, ten days ago we thought that he was going to be... Tiny. Tiny, because we had an emergency growth scan. And now look at that fat boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love him. Mm. So it's 3am, uh, it's fair to say, me and I've been lacquered, and uh, we're going to bed. Peace. <laughs> Look at that chin, I love it. I'm not sure if I gave the details already, I'm very tired. Um, he was born at, what was it, 5 to 3? Five to three, something like that. Or to tip, was it? It was either five to three or five to two. So he's born at either like five to three or five to two. It all gets warped in time. Something like this, doesn't it, baby? Hey, it does. It does. He was uh, eight pounds, four ounces. He's fat, as you can see. His little fat face. Show your fat. Oh, he's opening his eyes. Oh. Oh. What's that blood? Brilliant. Beautiful, aren't you? What else do I have to say about you? You come to Dutchy and you instantly relax. He's Abby's uh, been on a drip all morning. Her uh, placenta uh, stayed in that part of it. So she had, to have a, she had to have a few injections to flush it out. So she's uh, she's bleeding a little bit, isn't she, baby boo? Yes. Yes, Dad. Um, I, I've never been happier. And you've done amazing yeah. Oh, and I changed his first dappy, and you don't understand what that's like. I'm like the fucking, the goat, bro. I'm the goat. in here, So many firsts. But everything's a first for it. I know, that's coming. Oh. Okay. It's, we've got all your information that would be here is on there. But what we've, what's happened is community midwives have gone to people's homes and literally unable to get online. So they need to be able to write a few notes when they've seen you, you know, if they've reweighed for you, then you've weighed. So they've gone back to having these for a little while. However, on the last day your midwife is going to visit you, she will say to you, she's taking these books away, right? 